noches mi gente I hope everybody's doing well blessed and enjoying family como siempre and before I start you know I just got done going through through you guys' comments and como siempre you know you really or it really moves me you know you guys' kind words and you guys' prayers you express towards me you know I said it once twice and I'll say it again you know I wish I had the correct words to show you guys my appreciation but do know you know that from the Dakota your words and prayers or the time you're taking to express them they really do mean a lot you know especially for a you know for a cat like me that you know I was no angel in my life gracias and you know second of all I wanna address something you know as you guys know I don't address negative comments I, I don't give these type of individuals the time of day at the end of the day everybody's in the right to feel the way they feel and I'm at peace with that you know it really don't fade me what a ignorant person thinks of me to be sincere you know and why I say this is because I seen a comment that's basically telling me that how I could speak about, you know, not rolling over, snitching, or wreck. And I'm just going to say this, man. You know, if you think that what I'm doing is snitching or rolling over, then you're wet behind the ears, my boy. I just say it like that. You really haven't been nowhere and don't know nothing. Because first and foremost, the things I say, they're documented in California. Second of all, things I speak on on different spots and situations they're in a place where there's no repercussions gonna come of them but again you know if you're gonna teach me about the ropes you know mis respetos I'll just leave it at that you know and I don't want to give too much time to this individual I won't put your name out there cuz you know I just don't want wanna do that you know but you know again it saddens me because by the seems of it, your raza and from ignorant raza like yourself that's willing to always abide and get stepped on is why, you know, our gente, sureña, norteña, bulldog, never gets out from underneath this, these vatos, you know, because there's gente like you willing to uh, uphold what's all bad with 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 these vatos you know and I'm not talking about me man it could be anybody you're seeing them doing something positive to help our people get out of that type of life and you're downplaying it man but again you know mi respetos to you and uh, I hope your way of thinking takes you far my guy but anyways, I disculpe me, gente. I just thought I, I addressed this because, uh, you know, it really, it really got me mad for a lot of reasons that I'm not going to take you guys' time and put on here, you know. But uh, I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. Okay, to the story on hand, you know, I want to, the next two stories I want to touch up on three individuals, three pili señores that, uh, for a while, I've been seeing a lot of, a lot of different uh, people touch on them, you know, and basically glorify or, to a certain extent, try to portray this this battles as a, as something different than what they were, you know. So. The reason I'm touching up on these three is because I personally was there, seen it, heard it, you know, and uh, I could speak on it because of that. Now, again, you know, nobody telling me their stories. It's not he said, he said, she said stuff that I'm speaking about, you know, as I stated before. I'm only speaking on what I can speak up because I had some personal interaction with the situation. But okay, mi gente, for the first one, I want to wanna touch on, a, on the Pili, you know, cycle from Santa Monica. 
now you know I heard a lot of a lot of different stories about him you know one of them being that uh, he was a strict Billy that he had it rough getting to where he's at and uh, you know which is to me is completely wrong you know as far from the truth yeah you know I remember uh, it wasn't the thing that made him but it was a thing that his first mission asked to take care of you know or one of if not his first you know and uh, for that let me just take you back a while you know I was in Ironwood you know I was in Ironwood three block a yard and uh, in this in this yard you know I had a handball partner you know little sneaky from uh, from Santa Monica and uh, you know we got to like each other but it wasn't like like a camarada level which meant like politics or what was going on in the yard or you know look at that fool you know, or none of that you know it was just like we go out get a routine a handball and you know go back in the day room play play you know dominoes chess egg, you know that type of of uh, relationship we had and uh you know I already knew who he was you know for the simple fact as I mentioned before you know I had a I had that yard for Terco so I was aware of those that that had some type of importance on the yard you know even if they weren't involved in the politics I still was aware of those basically that if something happened there was going to be repercussions from 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 an angle, you know, from another Pili. Now I knew Sneaky was a uh, was Psycho's primo, you know. Now on this, on the same yard, different block. There was another camarada from Santa Maria, you know, Smiley. Which is weird, cause they were crimes, you know, they were crimes from the streets, and they were in the same yard, that same pinta, you know. And uh, it happens, but you don't see it often, you know. Well. I don't want to get too much in debt about this story, you know, but, uh, let me just say this, you know, the reason why Sneak stuck up with me is because, uh, you know, me personally, I was raised as a Sureño, you know, as a Sureño should at least think about another Sureño, at least when we're busted, man, I understand, you know, down south, there's it's game banging, you know, neighborhood against neighborhood, which is understandable. But once you're inside, uh, you either fall with the causa or you don't, you know, you keep game banging. So when you're in, uh, you're already programming with the camaradas, then, you know, you should always have heart for the camaradas, you know, because that's mainly what you're claiming, right? Now, for us up north, well, at least me growing up, you know, as I mentioned before, I got busted when I was 16, and you know, but up until that point, you know, it was, uh, it was carnalismo overall, you know, on the streets. It was mainly, we don't hurt each other, we, you know, it was just, it was just something that, even though I was in the mix, I always keep an eye out for, you know, those that had heart righteously for, for people from our causa, you know, that they weren't expecting something back. Now, why I say this is because, uh, you know, at this time, uh, I had a lot of, already a lot of tattoos. I believe I had my whole right arm, and, uh, yeah, I had all my evil stuff, and uh, I had, uh, I earned part of, uh, my left back arm, well, some, you know, my shoulder and my back arm, and I had, I seen the homie, he, he had some really good skills making letters, you know, so I went up to him and I told him, hey, homie, I'll do me a paro, you know, make me some, some letras, you know, I want to get, like, underneath from what I have in the back of my head, I want to get it a big XR, and, because in between my shoulders, I have a big, you know, Aztec 13, you know, and I wanted the SR to sit on top of the Aztec 13, 
and in between what I have on the back of my head. So, uh, and I want uh, from the bottom part to my shoulder, I want to get a 707, you know, and uh, so you know, the homie did, uh, you know, so. With me, it was always that way, you know. A hand always has to scratch the next hand, you know. If one scratches yours, why not scratch theirs, right? So out of love and respect, you know, he did him. I liked him, and uh, I told him straight up, you know, I, I just got a package, my boy. Uh, I'm going to hook you up, you know, for the bottle. And he straight up said, nah, you know. The way I do things, you know, I do it from the heart. I don't expect nothing. I don't want you to give me nothing. You know, if uh, at the end of the day, if I didn't want to do nothing, I won't do it, you know. And uh, that stuck with me, you know, because of the way I was raised. You know, because uh, when someone uh, does something out of just out of heart, you know, without ganging nothing back, it's rare in person. Believe me, it's rare in person. Everybody's after getting something, you know. So I was like, cool, you know, the homie's young, but, you know, he has a good mindset, you know. So I always kept him in mind for that reason, man. You know, uh, even though he wouldn't accept nothing then, I knew in the future, we all go through our struggles in prison, you know. Because uh, you might not catch a draw one one month or or x thing you know and uh, that's when you could come up hey you know what here homie there were so una sopas chanate x you know and uh, well anyways i don't want to lose you guys on on everything now at this time you know uh, the first mission that psycho got sent was to find Two bottles that hit a stash spot, spot, spot excuse me, in uh, in Santa Monica, and they had taken dope, a couple guns, and I guess the bottles that had that spot were uh, were under someone, you know, someone else from Santa Monica. I'm pretty sure you guys know who it is, you know, at this time, and uh. Now, mind you, remember I said, this is Psycho's Primo. Homeboy staying clean away from politics, being in the mix. Homeboy got up, you know, did his little drawing, went out to yard, got his money, got his workout, mind his business, period. When it was time to get up and go to war, he did what he was supposed to, you know. But here's the kicker, you know. I got a kite one day, you know. It was from a, from a different bottle from Bassett. I'll just say that. I want to put his name out there. But uh, he basically got at me and told me, uh, Hey, T wants me to tell you that to go ahead and call over there. So I was to go ahead and report to, to that senora out there, right? So I made that phone call. And next thing you know, he told me, look. You know, so-and-so, and so-and-so. And, uh, I say, yeah, what's up? And then, well, T says that within this time lapse, they're going to move on them and they're going to remove them. The orders are to, to go ahead and uh, take that juggler, you know? I was like, and may I know the reason behind it? And then they told me, you know, basically... I was like, and, and who's this coming from? So, when they told me who it was coming from, I was like, oh, hell no. You know, up until this point, I seen a lot of shady stuff, but, uh, you know, it's rare, even amongst carnales, you know, that they they target family, you know, and uh, when they told me it was from Psycho, I was like, damn, you know, they're blood cousins, but, uh, again, you know, it wasn't my business to, to get in their business, yeah, you know, and, uh, 
So, you know, out of respect, you know, I felt like I should have done something, you know. I, I felt bad throughout the years. So I'll just leave it at that, you know. I knew if I went there and uh, addressed sneaks with this and uh, he was aware of it when it happened and knew he was aware, you know, only one avenue where it could have came from. So I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't an idiot, you know. But, uh, and again, you know, caras vemos, corazones no sabemos, right? So, uh, I don't know if, uh, homeboy being busted, he, uh, he was keeping it cool, but when he was on the calles, you know, drugs, whatever, and, uh, he did something he wasn't supposed to, you know? So, the time came, and, you know, the shooters, it was, uh, they put four on the guy, you know? This comes from your cousin now, keep that in mind, you know? Put four individuals on you to cut your juggler. Which, you know, what else can you think from the sidelines? You know, it has to be true. You know, this is his own primo moving on him, right? So, they they hit him, you know. They they hit him, got to. You know, I really think they didn't kill him because uh, where they did it at, it was close to a tower that came out with the, you know, the blood gun and hit someone on the head and had him pass out. And I really think that, that really... Uh, help homeboy to get away, you know, but, uh, after this, it was like, he got back there to the hole, and, uh, he tried to come out to Grubyard, he got moved on, so he had no option, but, you know, go that other avenue, you know, and, uh, protect himself, basically, look out for himself, you know, now, throughout the years, you know, I, uh, I always had that little, how do I say it, man, I always had that, uh, that in my head, you know, how these vatos could have someone move on his own primo, you know, it had, he had had to have some foundation, man. And for those that I seen come on here and talk about psycho this, psycho that, he's firmes, you know, he's never done a camarada wrong, and, you know, these are 100% facts because I was there, man. As I was there in Taachpi Shu, when, uh, you know, it's my loan from uh, v &E was there, and Psycho came through on a layover, and, uh, you know, he ended up being there for a couple of days and split it, and uh, as my loan just, uh, one day we went to, uh, to medical, we happened to being at the cages, you know, and we were conversating, and I asked him, you know, I just, uh, because he was on the other side of the block, and I told him, hey, I heard your hermano, so-and-so from Santa Monica, was here for a couple of days, right, and, uh, he was upset, man, you know, and he basically told me, uh, yeah, man, but, uh, don't trust that cat, you know, now, this is coming from another senor, and I was like, Okay, may I ask, you know, may I ask, uh, why you state this? You know, I don't quite, I don't mean to question you, I just would like to know the reasons behind it, you know. So he basically started telling me a story, right? And, uh, he told me how when he was on the outs, him and another individual went into a stash pot, pad, excuse me, they jacked him. And everything, and, uh, right after he got made, he, uh, you know, he had two, two younger homies from his neighborhood removed and won't go PC it up to take, and basically threw the rap on them. So, you know, I, I was like, oh, hell no. You know, and, uh, I told him my loan, you know, I straight up told him I was outside Ironwood when this happened, and, uh, it was the homie Sneaky and, you know, so, and, uh, that was his blood primo, you know, I, I, I met the homie, you know, and I showed him, this is his pattern, this is his pattern, and he told me that makes it even worse, so, my advice to you, camarada, is, uh, show your respects, but don't get tangled up in, in, in his personal stuff, you know, and, uh, throughout the years, that's all I heard, you know, how he was a greedy, he was a greedy, greedy person, 
was always doing the, even the organization wrong, but for one reason or the next, he, he always found a way to wiggle out, you know? Again, you know, those tecatos ways, you know, and uh, again, disculpa, I, I, I address it like that, but please, I'm still waiting on someone to come on here and tell me what other, what other thing could you call it, right? And uh, I just think it's something real shady, you know, that uh, he would go to that extent to uh, to cover his butt. And uh, at, at being bad enough, you know, you throw two righteous camaradas. We already know they think of camaradas as throwaways to put them in, have them take the rap for it, but to actually feel he's so much in a corner where he has to throw two camaradas from San Monica to throw his own cousin under the bus to put that odor out there to kill his cousin knowing damn well that it wasn't him and again the reason why I'm addressing this is cause uh, seen a lot of stories you know I'm not gonna mention boo boo cause I don't want none of that you know but uh I seen how the dress he was I feel me Pili was always looking out for the hand then this is and that I mean come on you know it's uh it's what spreading poison amongst the raza man you know you talk about an individual that in one way paint him as a as they say legends when they're really you know dolphin as the gatos Willing to keep his name and clean, which they wouldn't touch a heart to hurt nobody, and that's what's suspected for our youth, you know. And uh, I heard this Billy, he likes youngsters, man, and I can understand why, you know. He's a he's a dirty individual, you know. Youngsters could be easily, you know, mold into what he wants, you know, and at the same time. He does something wrong and he showed it this time, he would do it again, you know? Throw them under the bus and clean it up using them. Now, again, you know, tienen a sus, a sus zapatos que se pueden quitar y, y tirar, right? But, uh, you know, I just thought I'd share this story about, you know, I know I address the camarada sneaks, I have mad respect for the camarada, you know? Uh, it threw me off when they said it was behind that, and uh, I questioned it, you know. That makes me uh, as guilty of his neck, man, you know, knowing he showed me nothing but love and respect. Uh, but again, you know, I'm just going to keep it 100, you know. I was a coward. I was a coward that I allowed these people to punk to dictate my life to the point where I knew something was wrong. That I thought I was a soldado, but I didn't even have, you know what, to stand up and stick for something that, that was my gente. Because, you know, Sneaks was my gente, he was a sureño. And, uh, you know, it, it's exactly what's happening, you know. There's individuals that come on here and uh, speak about things that, even though they were game banging or in that, you were never involved in that life, man. And I could tell just by the first, first five, six words that come out, you know, that uh, you speak what you hear, man. But again, this is a story just uh, for those that are out there thinking that, you know, you could uh, give everything for this type of gente, you know, there's going to come a point where they're going to need to clean their, their actions up and, uh, if you're in that situation where they can do it, you don't mean nothing to them, you know. That's exactly what you should think about going to earn your bones or to have these type of people think something highly of you. Because that's just not going to happen, man. Just keeping it a 100, you know. Like I said before, you know, I put over 25 years of being in the, in the gutter for this gente, literally. I gave my life up, not once, but many times. And as you guys will hear at the end of my story, it ain't mean a damn thing. 
but you know I just thought I put this story out there uh, you know I understand that uh, Psycho is in hot water right now and that his time might come up for uh, numerous reasons I'm not gonna say it's this but uh, I seen somebody questioning why him that they were politicking against him nah it was just one out of many dirty persons you know and I thought I would put this story out there for my next story I'm gonna touch on somebody uh, some some other Billy that there's been a lot of a lot of he said she said stories lies on on uh, about on how he got his life taken you know but con esto dicho I won't take more of you guys time I know to a lot I'm, I'm a big old headache the way I speak the way I express myself do know again I am trying to hurt nobody by me coming on here and saying my story so I have to be I have to be cautious you know at times sometimes things are going to slip out where I could uh, you know drag uh, fourth parties that have nothing to do with the point I'm trying to address in my story but anyways again muchas gracias mi gente stay true to yourself stay loyal to your loved ones Stay loyal to life, man. I send my love. Buenas noches.